Hi, good morning everyone. This is Dee, and it is a little early uh, in the morning. I've been up since about 3.30, and I have been um, operating in the power of the Holy Spirit. And as some a couple on my um, YouTube channel comments um, section there had asked me to make a continuation part two on how do we operate in uh, God's power. Um, differentiating between being led in the spirit so I just um, have been praying I've been up um, like I said since about 3 30 and uh, sometimes in my spirit I just know um, that the answer is going to come and that the Lord quickens me and uh, fills me with a revelation and um, enables me so I do ask that you would also do this too that you are all suited up. Of course, you have to be suited up. Um, um, just want to say hello and welcome to all new subscribers. This is my End Times channel for the Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach's glory. So I just want to go through one more time and say, uh, repeatedly I have said on my channel, in my videos, that you have to be praying all the time and um, intermittently throughout the day is best. For me, at least, it works. I mean, if you're at work, you can't be doing that. You can take a break here and there, bowing your head. And if you have the gift of tongues, which I hope you do, I hope you pray for it if you don't have it, um, you would just speak tongues in your minds and then maybe a trip somewhere, you know, down the hall to get a soda or um, water or whatever you're doing, you can start, you know, praying. Uh, this is the best way to do it. Intermittently throughout the day is what I do, and I start off with, um, people call it the Lord's Prayer. It's actually, I call it uh, myself, I call it the Disciples Prayer, which is in Matthew chapter 6. Our Father who is in the heavens, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in the heavens, and give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us of our sins as we forgive those who sin against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Um, that's how you start. And then I always pray, um, pleading the pure shed blood of Jesus Christ to cover me from the top of my head, the soles of my feet for everybody, my family, um, my mom, etc., uh, in this house, you know, I just say, cover us, cleanse us, Lord, from the top of our heads to the soles of our feet, inside our bodies and out by your pure shed blood. I thank him for it. And then um, you can go on to say, um, after you're suited up, Ephesians 6, 11 through 17, you also include all the saints. So it's a little, it's a little bit of, um, you know, something you just get in the habit of doing. For me, it's just a rote thing. I just instinctively do it and I say Lord you know I know these things and I pray them to you every single day so now um, according to the words I just want to grab my Bible my hallelujah scriptures Bible I'm just going to pray the words that I usually like to say in um, Psalms um, chapter 19 and I go to uh, verse 14 let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing before you, O God, O Yah, my rock and my redeemer. That's what I ask for the Lord whenever I make a video uh, for you. And I'm just praying all of you out there are going to pick this up and you're going to get it. Okay, so you might be with the Lord and you might be a student of the Bible for a year or two or three. So you're still being led by the Holy Spirit and you're, you know, you're strengthening yourself. There are four steps that you need to do if you want to seek the power of the Holy Spirit. They are constantly immerse yourself in the Word of God, the Bible, constantly. Okay, you don't want to be skipping around. You want to just spend some time and uh, ask the Lord to help you. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you get, get into the Word of God and to bless you. Um, believe it. Believe what you're reading. Don't just read it. I'll look at Galatians 3, 5. If we have time, I can go there in Romans 15, 13, because that's going to help you. Pray earnestly for it and go with without food for a period of time if you can. Like some people can go a day, not give it any thought. They're so busy, they're whatever. 
they're sipping on water, which is fine to do, or they've just decided to do a Daniel fast and only have vegetables, you know, have have carrots, have celery, you know, um, have salad and whatnot, and just have water. Um, but you're praying for it and go um, go without food or beverage for a few hours. You know, if you can do five or six hours, that's great. See Luke eleven thirteen. And Acts 4, 24 through 31, they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. They were praying. Okay, so these things we keep in mind when we want to be seeking the power of the Holy Spirit. I don't know how long it is that you've been in the, in the um, Lord, walking in the righteousness of Jesus Christ. I always tell um, my viewers that for me, it's not just like five or eight, ten years. It's 16 years, so I do know what I'm talking about. Um and that's no brag, that's just fact. Uh, so I want to emphasize something right now with you. Ephesians three fourteen through 21 is going to be your best source. Pray this and ask the Lord um, if he would enable you. So that's what I did a long time ago because it just resonated so strongly. When you see things, you want to start highlighting them. For this reason, I bow my knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, that according to the riches of his glory, he may grant you to be strengthened with might through his spirit in the inner man, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may have power to comprehend with all the saints. What is the breadth and length, height? and depth and to know the love of Christ which surpasses knowledge that you may be filled with all the fullness of God so when you're praying it pray it in the first tense for this reason I bow my knees before the father from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named that according to the riches of your glory Lord that you may grant me to be strengthened with my okay so you want to go through the whole thing in the first tense um, now to him who by the power at work within us is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask for or think to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus Yeshua to all generations forever and ever amen so that's what I want to emphasize that's what I want to point out to you. That's going to help you. Um, all these things up here are going to help you. So please, if you um, are taking notes, that's great. You can wait for the transcripts too and then just transcribe into your notebooks or your um, index cards. However you do it, put it right into your computer, whatever. But uh, so if you are a special, if you have that special need that you um want to you know just go above and beyond and you want to just go for witnessing all the time then this is a special power so that you pray that you're filled with the holy power and in Luke 24 you can check it in um, what Jesus said you are witnesses but stay in the city until you are clothed with power from on high because he had a mission for them the Lord um, was going to tell them he was telling them that he was going to enable them to start preaching and that's what they all did so that's what the power from on high is essential so read acts read acts 1 18 you shall receive power when the holy spirit has come upon you okay you shall be my witnesses so we are god's witnesses we are jesus christ's witnesses uh, this says, in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. So I strongly emphasize spending time in the book of Acts. Acts 2, 4, they were filled with the Holy Spirit. You can't do anything in your own power. Um, we have to do everything in the power of the Holy Spirit. Remember that scripture that says, um, from um, talking about Zerubbabel, uh, in the Old Testament, it was not by might, which is strength, not, not by might, nor by power, which is if you have a lot of influential power, you have money, etc. So not by might and not by power, but by the power of the Holy Spirit. So that's what is our motto. So keep going, Acts 4, 8, they spoke with what? They spoke with boldness. So if you start noticing yourself 
that you're speaking to others boldly, you can be assured that it's from the Holy Spirit. So here, so there are those tips. And if you think that you still need some more help after this, let me know in the comment sections. I hope and pray that you're all blessed today. Uh, thank you very much for paying attention, everybody. Um, like I said, yeah, please do leave me some comments, questions, or whatever. If you need to be lifted up in, in um, prayer, let me know that too. God bless you, everybody. Have a great day. Amen.